Hey guys, so I'm here getting some of my meal prep done and I was getting ready to make peanut butter and I've had so many people ask me what I do, how I do my homemade peanut butter. I can tell you, well most of you already know I'm a huge peanut butter lover, but the homemade peanut butter that I make is by far my favorite, by far, hands down. Um, I like to make mine super runny because I feel like I don't need to use quite as much to get it all over a piece of bread or a tortilla or a magic pop or whatever. I feel like I use a fraction of it if I make it really runny. So pretty much all that I do is, I'm going to try to turn this here. So here is, see, check out meal prep in two, multitasking, that's how I roll. So here is my food processor. So I like to use the... Um, honey roasted peanuts just because they taste amazing of course so I just put either one or two of jars of honey roasted peanuts in my food processor if you you can use regular peanuts you can use almonds cashews whatever if they are not already roasted I would roast them first in the oven whatever if you don't roast them it will take so much longer to make it peanut butter because the peanuts or the nuts have to excrete the oil that's in them to make the consistency of peanut butter. So, and it, they have to heat up to do that. So you have to either roast them or buy already roasted ones. It'll be 10 times quicker. I did some with almonds once that were not roasted and, and it, like I thought it was going to blow up my food processor. Not even kidding. So after that, so I have my peanuts in there. Hopefully my phone is not going to fall. So then you can do any extract that you want. So I'm going to do caramel because I love caramel. So then first I better put this thing in there. So this thing came with my blender or my food processor. And it just helps scrape the sides of the food processor. It's amazing. Got it off Amazon because my other one blew up because I make peanut butter all the time. And so I just pour some extract in here, however much. Um, the caramel extract's kind of hard to find. I actually ordered like a six pack on Amazon, but the only other place that I found it for a decent price, and I, it's actually this brand, Watkins, is actually at Menards. How weird is that? Um, but yeah, Menards has it in like a center, like in a center, in the center of the aisle by like the dog food. I don't know, they got soaps and all kinds of Watkins stuff, I don't know. That's the only place I found it, so... Um, just a little FYI. So then you just put the lid on and you turn it on. You turn it on, let it go. Um, if you have one of these little stirrer things in there, you don't even have to do anything. I usually let mine go anywhere from three to five minutes. And it'll just, at first, it'll be really thick, gritty. And then the longer you let it go, the more oil it secretes, the runnier it gets. Super amazing. Um, you can do any kind of extract. Sometimes I'll add like sea salt to it. So it's kind of like a caramel sea salt peanut butter. You don't have to season it at all. Um, the options are really endless. Like you can do whatever you want. So I'm going to mix this up and then I will show you the final product. I'll be back. So I just got done blending it all up and it's amazing. It smells amazing. It's hard for me not to just eat it with a spoon. I can't lie. I do just eat it with a spoon, especially after I have just made it because it's so good. So here is what it looks like and look at the consistency. So it's super runny. Let me see if I can figure out how to do this. So super, super good. So good. So if you guys want to make your own peanut butter, do. And then I just store mine in mason jars. I don't even store it in the fridge, partly because we eat it so fast. Um, but other than that, that's it. Um, I usually do about one and a half to two containers of those peanuts, and that usually gives me a good two mason jars, regular mason jars, full of peanut butter. So, and like I said, you can experiment with all different flavors. I've done maple before, I've done cinnamon, um, pretty much anything you're in the mood for. You can make a bunch of different ones. So, and you don't have to stir them every time you go to use them like you do a lot of the store-bought natural peanut butters. So anyway, give it a try. It's amazing. Okay, bye.